Hello, Facebook friends. This is a short video on how to change a brake drum on an easy go golf cart. Uh, I experienced this problem originally a couple of years ago with a different golf cart, and at the time there wasn't any videos on Facebook on how to go about changing it. So I sort of had to figure it out myself. I figured maybe this video will help a few people uh, who are not handy like myself change things. Uh, the problem arose about a week ago. We were coming back from a campfire. Uh, trying to go up the hill and all of a sudden you can hear the wheels spin well something inside the golf cart spinning but the wheels were not turning and then right away i knew it was the brake drum again uh, the brake drum of course does you know is used to stop the golf cart but in reality actually the drum itself is what turns the wheels it's got little spindles and stuff like that so during this video you'll see the parts and how i put it together and, and hopefully you'll find it uh, informative and um, easy to watch and excuse my uh, sort of blunders and taping and everything like that. I am still not a Facebook uh, YouTuber expert by any means. But in any event, if you want to subscribe to my page, I'm sure I'll have different videos of different things I'm working on up on there. Most of my channel is uh, a lot of lots got to do with uh, target shooting sports. But anyway, enjoy. This is going to be a short video on how to change a brake drum on an easy go golf cart. I already have the golf cart jacked up, so I guess I should have started this with the wheels on, but it's basically the opposite of, um, you know, putting them back on. What'll happen is when you're driving your golf cart, all of a sudden you'll get a point where the wheels will not turn. You'll hear something spinning, which is this part here. And you can see those spokes on there. And what happens is on the older ones, Eventually, they'll start to wear out. See how they're almost completely gone? And then the new ones, I see how crisp they are. And it should last a couple of years. These brake drums lasted, I don't know, probably three years or so. Uh, I had an older golf cart that they went more often. So I just ordered them on Amazon. They're about, it was about, I don't know, 50 bucks for a, a pair. Normally, just one goes at a time. But the problem is you don't necessarily always know which side is gone. So I jacked it up and then I uh, took it off. And of course it was a 50-50 chance of getting the correct one. And um, I was 100% wrong. So I had both sides jacked up. I figured I might as well just change them both. If they're cheap enough, the hard part is jacking it up and getting them off and stuff like that. Uh, so now I'll show you how to put them back on. And then I'm just gonna save the extra. There's a spare, this is the other one. See, it's really not too bad. So I'll just, I'll just save that in my shed case another time one of them goes i'll just you know maybe i could just replace the one and just but of course it'll go in the go in the trash that's how it looks from the other side which from here it doesn't look too bad but if you look right beside after it it's completely smoothed out so you need those little treads so it's more than the brake than the it's actually making the golf cart spin the last thing you do one point that i learned the hard way is in order to get this drum off after you take all the lug nuts and off stuff off is a brake has to be released Otherwise, it's, you know, the brake on the golf cart will be seized up and you will not be able to get this thing off of it. So it's, you have to have it, you know, the tire is blocked so it doesn't roll forward and jack it up safely. So let's see how this goes. I have to put it back together now. All right, so I'm going to take these things off. Okay, so I hope you can see this. All right, so you put the brake drum back on. And yeah, this would be the last step of taking it off. Very simple. That would be the last step. You'd be like, okay, I'm taking this off. Then uh, on a typical regular golf cart, you just put the wheels on top of this. You know, put the lug nuts on. But before you do that, put one of these stages on here. Spin this thing on. This actually holds it onto the tire. Okay. I have to get a wrench. <sighs> Tighten this thing up. And spin this. Okay, it's actually pretty good. And I've got to tighten it a little bit more because you see there's a hole. I don't know if you can see this. There's a hole right there. We've got to put a cotter pin in. So I'll put this back again. And 
I am not super handy. So if I can do this, no, I can tell you that more. Anybody can do this, as opposed to taking it to a dealer or whatever. Okay. okay. I'll put the cotter pin in. Because I have a extended um, longer tire base. You actually have to put this on here first to hold the tire. So again, a regular tire, you plop it right back right in there. And here, this should line up. Okay. Okay, for whatever reason, that went on a heck of a lot more harder than I thought it would. It was very stiff. It seems pretty loose now. I don't know. I don't know what to deal with, but I actually actually used a little hammer just to put it in, but now it, now it seems fine. So hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Like I said, I'm not super handy, but this will do. So I'm going to put this back up on here. can't get into it. Okay, so basically I'm gonna put these lug nuts on and I'll stop it and when I get them on, I'll come back. It's always an adventure. I did not anticipate this. The lug nuts that came with the original ones, voila, see, oops, sorry, do not fit on the new lug nuts, which whatever just take my word for it so and then of course uh, I didn't fit on there anyway so I'm actually trying to just hand tight these okay so I'm gonna hand tighten these with a crescent wrench to get it it spins nicely if I had that brake engaged this would not be able to spin And again, this is because this is a, a larger wheel. And they, have, they come with these extenders on it. This is pretty damn good. Okay. Check this one out. All right, so that's good. Now I can put the wheel on, and uh, I'll bring that over. And I'm just going to put the wheel right on top of that, and then of course, bug nuts are going to go in place to keep the wheel in place. All right, so let's see if we can put this someplace where we can watch this a little better. Oops, Okay, here we go. Tire is on. I would say it was easy peasy, but for a super reason, I had a hard time lining up the holes on it. But you know, at this point, it's really like putting on a wheel on any tire. You just put the lug nuts on. You're gonna, gonna crank them down, and then I'll go do the other side. I 
I guess I could try and test the turn the wheels and see what happens. But I don't know if I'm asking for trouble by doing that while this thing is up in the jack. You know, these don't do this at home type of things, but at least that way, maybe we'll get a little idea how the wheels spin and why those spokes are important. All right, I can, once I get this on the ground, I, like any other tire, I can, car, you can crank them down then. Try hand tighten these. No, nuts on, I pretty much hand tighten them. Just gonna crank them down a little bit with the wrench, just to show you how it, I wish you could do, so. done. I'm going to try to hold the camera and do this at the same time is a little bit of pain. So anyway, so let's see if we get the other side on and mounted. Okay. So we're good there. There's the tire. And again, we still have to do this side. And I'll just go and run through this tire process again. I'll see if I can see if I can turn this. I'm gonna step on the gas for a second and see what happens. If, oh, I'm gonna turn the electric on. See how that's turning? So that's how that works. And then I wonder if I do this on this side. Get the target now will spin. Well, that's not a good sign. Maybe it has to be cranked up more. Hopefully it's okay. All right, so let me get the other side done and we'll see how it goes. This side that was not, uh, was the one actually causing the problem that was worn down. I'm noticing that inside these little grooves, there's pieces of metal stuck in there. So I'm still taking a screwdriver just to clean them off before I put this uh, drum back on. Actually would not fit. So I'm thinking that's the problem. So, well, hopefully this will work, but I'm just basically going around and uh, just cleaning them off like this, each one and stuff. But you can see a whole bunch of like metal coming out, which is probably pieces of that, I suppose. Okay, so but rather than bore you, whoops, with this, I'll come back in a second as soon as I finish cleaning them off. It's looking a lot better already. Yeah, okay, I'll just check this out. We'll get this thing on. All right, much better. I can't believe, again, that was a whole bunch of metal from, uh, I guess, or whatever that was inside those grooves that had to get cleared out of there. Otherwise, I couldn't actually get the uh, brake drum on. That's never happened before. But at least I experienced it. So now you'll have an idea, again, of what to expect. So the next thing is i got to put that bigger nut on here. I don't know what the official name for that is. But it's over here and the cotter pin okay so again we're just doing the same thing on this wheel and again taking it off is just the opposite the only difference is like any car getting those initial uh lug nuts off for a pain because they're on there pretty tight so i actually used a pipe here to get some extra uh leverage because this is the first time these were ever off so I'm assuming whoever put it on probably used uh, like a heavy duty impact wrench. This is lined up pretty good. Okay, let's get this kind of pin in. And then. Oops. Oops. I need two hands for this. Oh, well, typical not being handy style. I forgot to put the little washer. So I got the cotter pin in, put this thing back on, take those nuts again, spin these babies on. All right, so now I'm going to tighten them up again, just like I did the other side. So it's hard to fit on easy enough. Getting these lug nuts on. So 
so I crank down both sides the best I can before I lower it. I'll just see if... Jacks are removed, tools are put away, take the parking brake off to release that. It's in reverse, we'll see if this works. And here we go. And we're all good, the job is done. Well, hopefully you found this uh, video helpful to your project of changing a brake drum on an easy go golf cart and uh, please share it with your friends or anybody else that may be interested in you know trying to repair do a simple repair on a golf cart and get it up and running this we used the golf cart last night it's running perfectly uh no floors and uh hopefully it'll last another couple of years before i actually have to change the drum again and like the uh, video if you can and subscribe and let's catch you on the next video